Hi, this is Shay Veronica. Hospitality is a natural lateral move from chattel slavery to wage slavery. And I'm hearing it more and more now in my chat. Um, they're talking about Ips Hill, Sandy Lane, Turtle Beach Resort, and the treatment made out to um, the workers there. We all know that hotels are plantations of old. That is known. Even the people in my group, they know that that a plantation is now is a hotel. That's what it is now, a hotel. So if you are working in hospitality, it means that maybe your parents didn't really work well with you. They failed you in some way. Or maybe your parents had the best of intentions, but you were own way as they would say you wanted your own way and maybe you failed yourself because it's a real hard job to do it's a really really hard thing to do and if you've ever been on vacation and you've been to a hotel never would you see a person from any upper class cleaning your toilets or you know making up your bed you never see that, even if the person may consider themselves white, because a lot of people from Central America that that they have little pigment or le not, not so much pigment to their skin, they may say that they are white, but they're speaking like you know French or Spanish or whatever, and they're the ones that you will see making your beds, and you know if you order food, they're the ones bringing the food. So it's a job that is geared for certain people who, like I said, either, either their parents fill them or they filled themselves. But like I said, this is not a judgment. This is not a judgment. It's only an observation. And I'm hearing from the people, like I said, in my groups that the treatment that they get, they don't like. They don't. They're not feeling it. They don't like it. Yes, they have to do it. They have to make their money. They need to support themselves, and it's the best they can do at the moment. But it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. I've always tried to get myself like organized in my mind. I, you know, you try to fix your mind because I can never do it, and I tried to fix my mind to, to maybe gain an understanding of it and I say to myself I'm going to be a waitress that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be a waitress and I'm going to see what it is to wait on people and to take orders or whatever I cannot do it I could not do it I cannot do it there are certain things that I cannot do I remember the ancestors that walked into, into the Atlantic Ocean rather than being a slave that's me <laughs> that's me I'd rather be dead than to do certain things it's just the way I am. It's just the way I'm made up. You know, I'm not built to be that slave. I'm not built for certain things. I'm built for this. I can talk to you and I can give you my opinion. Yeah, I'm built for that. When people say things about me, I'm built for that. I'm not phased by people who are dead. You know, people who are dead can, you know, they're taught, they're, they can say anything they want to say. I'm not affected by it. So I'm kind of strong in one way, but then there are certain things that I cannot do. I cannot do. So when you see Kadri Jones, yeah, Kadri Jones appear in your newspaper and they're talking about she is ready, you know, better prepared for hospitality jobs. Youth better prepared for hospitality jobs. What I am here to say is it, ter it takes a certain mindset to be able to do that. It takes a certain kind of person to be serving. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Can I do anything more for you, ma'am? And you're waiting around for that tip. And if the tip is not what you think it should be, you have an attitude. I it takes a certain people to be able to do that. And when you hear, when I hear the word sandals, hospitality training program, you know, it, it gives, it, it takes me somewhere. And, you know, like I say, and I'm going to say again, it's not a judgment. It's just my opinion and observation. It's just an opinion and observation. I know that I'm in the same boat as everyone else here on this earth. Okay. I understand that. But when I hear from the people in my chat that they're being treated 
extremely poor. I've heard it before. Next year, I'll hear it again. And the following year from my life, I'll hear it again. It's something that I'm going to hear all the time. So all I can say to you is when you are not working, maybe you can take a class here and there. Well, if you like what you're doing, maybe you can open up your own Airbnb, you know, open up your own business. And if you're doing that, it's, at least it's your business, you know, if you like doing it. But if you do not like doing it, take some classes and subjects that you want to do. Whatever it is that you like and you feel comfortable with, take classes to get yourself organized. That when you have completed those classes, you can leave that job and you can do something that you really like. Do not continue in a situation that you don't like. Do not continue in a situation that you you do not like that makes you feel bad. Do not continue in it. Always work to better yourself. I've said that to you all the time, ladies. Always work to make sure that you are better and you are better at supporting yourself. You are better at making yourself happy. Work at that. Work at that. Share Veronica.